Hey guys, Paul Simon here. Um, in the past, I have not um, done any videos on accidents with rare exception. I think there was one on uh, where some guys flew into uh, some snow and had a whiteout and had an accident. Offered some uh, suggestions on how not to get into that same thing again. But in the past, I've been uh, typically not commenting on um, accidents or not doing accident videos per se. And when I do make comments about accident, it's usually in an effort to add something that may help prevent an accident in the future if somebody's watching the video. Well, I'm going to start a new series called, and kind of jokingly, but students that have tried to kill me, okay? Because if you're a flight instructor, particularly if you're a helicopter flight instructor, you need to be aware of certain things that students will do fairly commonly that can end in an absolutely catastrophic outcome if you don't quickly correct it, all right? So what brought me to this decision, there was an accident out in Santa Monica on the 8th of September. It was an airplane accident, but it doesn't matter. The principles here are still the same. It was an airplane accident in a light sport aircraft where uh, the, the instructor and the student got to wrestling over the controls and as luck would have it, uh, they had actually transmitted on the radio so it was picked up on ATC Live. Uh, you can hear them, the instructor yelling, uh, you know, let go, let go, let go about three times. And uh, it was in a light sport that had been, it was coming in behind a King Air and to what, you know, at this point I don't know that, um, you know for sure exactly what caused the accident, whether um, wake turbulence from the King Air, they had been cautioned about wake turbulence from the King Air, whether it played a role or not, but nonetheless, uh, what I wanted to speak to you about today is the fact that when you're giving instruction to students, probably the most important thing to do, you know, after you're in a helicopter, you've done your SFAR 73 training and all of that, but there are a few things that you need to mention, and probably the most important of which is, if we're in the aircraft and I get on the controls to help you out, do not, do not wrestle with me over the controls, all right? Let me have the aircraft. And that has to be, I mean, it's absolutely imperative that that message is delivered to the students and that they understand and that you do not get into a wrestling contest over the controls, particularly in a helicopter, because, you know, I've also sort of jokingly said in a helicopter, you're never more than two to three seconds away from dead at any time. If the student was to make absolutely the wrong inputs, you can go to, from flying along happy and, to literally an unrecoverable situation in a matter of just a few seconds with the wrong inputs from the student. So you have got to, particularly in a helicopter, be on your toes and be looking for the student to make mistakes because they're going to make mistakes, all right? And you need to be there to quickly correct them, all right? So it's very early on. There's not a lot of information out uh, about this accident yet. I don't know how many hours the student had or what kind of experience the instructor had or any of that. I just know that it's pretty convincing that these guys were wrestling over the controls uh, just prior to the crash. So I'm going to play the audio. It's about a minute and 10 seconds long. It's very difficult to listen to, to be very honest with you. So if you don't want to hear it, you know, turn, turn the uh, video off. But uh, if you're a flight instructor, I think you need to hear this because... Um, it's only about, uh, like I say, a minute and 10 seconds long. The, the crash comes at the very end of the audio, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory here. And I leave, I actually played it for just a bit uh, prior to the crash so that uh, it includes the, where they were warned for uh, uh, wake turbulence from the King Air that they're gonna be landing uh, just behind. So let's take a quick listen to the audio. I support six whiskey kilo report of King Air inside. Inside, what does this feel? Number 6, Whiskey Kilo, Cosmo, Turbulence, maintain visual separation, no way 2 one clear for the option. Maintain visual, no way 2 one clear for the option, be a full stop, 6 kill, thank you. 0 4, Tango, Tango, traffic inside of my final light sport, runway 2 one clear for the option. Runway 2 one clear for the option, 4, Tango, Tango. That's how our seven Fox Drop Papa would like us to make a right turn up here to the blue whale. Number seven Fox Drop Papa, proceed as requested, and there's a helicopter orbiting in the vicinity of the UCLA 1000 indicated. I will be looking. Uh, thanks so much, seven Fox Drop Papa. Four 
West Coast One, contact Hook out of Watch Air today. Good day, West Coast One. Again, it's very difficult to listen to. Um, CBS News in uh, Los Angeles was reporting that this was an introductory flight, and this is the very flight where you have got to really pay attention to the student. Um, again, I told you personally, besides just doing SFAR 73 training, I also throw in uh, some other pointers like, number one, do not rapidly move the controls of the aircraft. In any circumstance, there should be no rapid movement of the controls. Two, don't let go of the aircraft. I've had students fly on R-22 and they just suddenly let go of the aircraft. And if you do that, within seconds, the aircraft usually will start a roll left or right. And if you were unable to get to the controls quickly, it could be a very bad situation. Again, if I get on the controls to help you, I want you to stay on the controls with me. And number three, and the final thing, and probably the most important is, do not wrestle with me over the controls. If I'm taking it away from you, you let me have it, okay? So again, this was gonna be a first of a series of multiple videos. I've got multiple times when students have done really almost unpredictable things that have tried to kill me. And, and there are some things that you see the students do sort of on a recurrent basis that you see all of the time. And so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not gonna say I hope you liked the video. I didn't like making it, to be honest with you. But uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.